MTT6, this is all about bars, bar lines, and time signatures. Okay, so let's have a listen to see what this is about. Beats are organized into bars with a bar line at the end of each one. Okay, so we've got bars with bar lines dividing up them. So we've got bar one, bar two, bar three, three bars there divided with bar lines. For grade one, bars can hold two, three, or four crotchet beats. The first beat of the bar is a little stronger than the others, and this adds a particular character to the music. So in this one, we've got two crotchet beats in each bar, and we'd count it one, two, one, two, one, two. Notice the first beat is stronger. That gives us a one, two, one, two, one, two. This has got three crotchet beats, so it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it has a different feel, and this is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it feels different again. There is a time signature at the beginning of the music. The top number of a time signature shows the number of beats in a bar. Okay, so here's the top number, and it's a two. So that tells you that there are two beats in each bar. The bottom number shows the type of beat in a bar. Okay. And we won't get into why, but you just need to know that a four means crotchets. So this means that there will be two crotchet beats in each bar, two crotchet beats. Okay, so next we've got three, four, and this is meaning three crotchet beats in each bar. Okay, and 4-4 four, four means four crotchet beats in a bar. Four, and the bottom number is four cro is crotchet beats. And another way of writing this is a C, which means common time. Okay? Right. So, question one. Write the correct time signature. So, we've got one done for us. You can see there's three beats in each bar, so it's going to be three. And they're crotchet beats, so three, four. So what is this? This is two there and they're crotchets. So it's going to be two, four. Okay. So I'll leave you to do the rest. Next page. Write a treble clef and fill each bar with crotchets. And it wants Fs and Cs here. Okay. So write a treble clef. We can go over this one. It's done for us, but we can just practice for going over it. And here's an F and a C. So it's got to be crotchets and we've got to do two. So we can do the same Fs and Cs or we can do a C and then an F. Okay, and fill that one as well. This one, write a bass clef and fill each bar with crotchets. So a bass clef, I'm going to start on the fourth line, come up and around and then two dots. Three, four, so we need three different notes in each one, three crotchets in each one, and it's B's and G's. So you work out where the B's and G's are, and then write a bass clef and fill each bar with crotchets to different C's. So um, bass clef, it's like that, and you work out where the C's. One can be a middle C and one can be a different C. So it's got to be four in each bar. All right. Five, count up the number of crotchet beats in each bar. In the second bar, write one note E on an E to show the total value of the notes and rests in the first bar. So you've got to count up how many were in the first bar. So we've got one beat, half and half is another beat, another beat there, that's one, two, three, and then a crotchet beat, that's four. So They've put in a semi-brief on an E to show four beats. So I'll do one more for you. Do this one. Got one crotchet plus half, half, quavers. That's two beats. So we need a two-beat note. That's a minim, and it's on the E. Okay? Try and use a ruler so it's straight up. Okay. And then question six. Write the correct time signatures. So we just need to count them up. They've counted this one, two, half, half is three. So that's three, four. So I'll do one more for you, this one. That's one plus half, half is two. So that's two and it's four because they're crotchet beats. That's two crotchet beats. Okay, and 
last page. So look at the following music, add bar lines to agree with the time signature. So we look at the time signature, it says three, four. So we know we need three crotchet beats in each bar. So we just start from the beginning and we count three beats. One, two, half, half is three. So we add a bar line there, they've done it for you. One, two, three, bar line there. One, two, three, bar line. And then there's one, two, three in those, that dotted minimum. I'll do one more for you. Two, four, so one, two, bar line. Use a ruler. One, two, because that's a minimum. Bar line. One, two, bar line there. That's half and half is one, two, bar line, and then a minimum is two, so that's it. Okay, notice the number of points you get for each of these. There's one, two, three, four, bar line, so you can check against that when you finished. Right, that is MTT6 finished.